today I'm going to be doing a Birch Box and an Ipsy unboxing for November. Um, if you don't know what Ipsy and Birch Box are, they are monthly subscriptions that you pay $10 a month and then you get beauty samples in the mail every month. And um, it, you can sign up and I'll put links down below. And if you actually use those links, it actually um, gives me like points so I can get like extra items. And I actually got an extra item in my Ipsy this month from collecting points, doing reviews on the products on Ipsy, and for when you guys use the link to sign up. So if you guys want to sign up, I'd appreciate if you use the link. Um, but you don't have to if you don't want to. It's up to you. But I'm going to start unboxing these. I'm so excited to see what I got this month. Um, I'm going to start with Birch Box this month. So I'm just going to open that really okay, quick. So so the first thing, or actually the first two things, um, there's the card and it has the product on the back with the prices like it always does. Um, and then it has this little um, booklet. Um, it's like looks like it's a holiday, um, it's like a holiday um, gift thing. I, I guess it's kind of like a gift guide type thing. That's actually quite useful um, for holiday, the Christmas time. So it has like different products and suggestions um, and different things you could get. So that's actually okay, quite so easy. let's get into the products. Okay, so the first thing I see is this um, body butter in Midnight Tango. This is from Aris. Aris. Aris, Aris. <laughs> you guys know I'm not very good at pronouncing these things. Um, but I'm gonna open this and smell it, but I love body butters. My hands and skin has been so dry from the um, air changing and it's just been really dry. So I've been lathering up with moisturizer. Mmm, it actually kind of smells like sunscreen. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Yeah, it sort of smells like sunscreen to me, but um, I'm going to take a little bit. It looks, it looks pretty thick. Let me rub that on my hands and see how that feels. It has an interesting smell. It's not sweet. It's kind of, it's kind of musky. It sort of smells like sunscreen, but then you smell it again and it kind of smells kind of like woodsy or smoke. I, I don't know. But it feels nice and hydrating, so that is nice. And it's a pretty decent size sample as well. Okay, then the next thing I see is this um, Jasmine Romance Green Tea. Um, so it's a little green tea sample. I'm not really much of a green tea drinker, but I'm sure someone in my family will drink that. So there's that little tea sample. There's actually two more tea samples as well. Um, there's two black teas. The one is English tea number one, and then the other is apricot sunrise. That actually sounds quite nice. I might have to give these a try. I generally only drink rooibos tea, which is a red tea. I haven't really tried black tea or green tea. But maybe I'll give these a try. And the next thing is this um, glycolic retexturizing um, exfoliating facial thing. Actually, the packaging is really cool and looks super fancy and snazzy. Um, it's serious skincare. Um, you just play, apply a thick layer to the face and neck and leave on 10 minutes and it exfoliates and stuff. <laughs> so it's actually like a gray color. Not at all what I was expecting, um, to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be more like a gel clear color. Oh, and I feel tiny little exfoliating bits in it. So I guess it's just kind of, it's like an exfoliating mask. So there's okay, that. And the little blue box, and I love, this is like my favorite color of blue. Like, oh, I love that color blue. So in here I see two beauty products. Um, or like my makeup products. Um, the first is this Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl from Ico London. Interesting, but actually I'm gonna have to like squeeze the bottle. The mascara didn't get all the way up. Um, but the, actually this looks like a really nice wand, like it's gonna give really um, clump free lashes, like really um, full lashes. So that wand looks really, really nice and it's just black. So I'm excited to try that out. I love trying out different mascaras to see how they and work. And there's this Color Club Nail Polish in Top Shelf. So it's kind of like a gold um, metallic color. I'm gonna open it because I like to see if it's going to be sheer. And that seems like it's a pretty um, opaque color. Seems like it's a nice gold 
um, metallic color. So that's pretty, and it's not, or it's kind of like a gold bronze. It's not a super gold, it's more like a gold bronze. So there's that little nail polish. Okay, so I got seven products in my Ipsy this month, three of them being tea. Um, so kind of like seven beauty products. Um, I'm excited to use the body butter, because I love body butters. Um, odds are I'm not going to use the, um, glycolic face products, because I don't use those. Um, I'm excited to try the mascara, and this looks like a really pretty nail polish. So, I'm not super excited about this month's Birch Box, but I'm not disappointed either, because I am excited about a couple of the products. But, I'm going to open my Ipsy okay, bag so now. the first thing that I have in here is my um, NYX Bronze Smoky Look Kit. Um, this is what I got with my Ipsy points that I had um, racked up. Um, so, it has nine eyeshadows and two lip colors. So, I'm going to open this, because I'm excited to see... Um, if the colors are nice and they're pigmented, so I'm going to open this really Okay, quick. so that's what it looks like. It feels really nice, um, and it's pretty, they're pretty small eyeshadows, like the size of them. There's not too much, doesn't look like there's too much product. Let me swatch a couple of these. So they feel nice on the finger, but when I swatch them on my wrist, they don't seem uber pigmented, but probably with a primer. Okay, that, that um, more brown shimmery color looks nice. It's a little more pigmented. I'm sure with the primer underneath, these are actually really nice. And they're really nice neutrals, so they're wearable for everyday use. And then it just has a mirror on the top. And then on the bottom where it slides out, those are the two lip colors. So, um, and then it comes with a little sponge brush and a little lip brush, which I probably wouldn't use. But I just want to swatch this lip gloss, which seems really nice, actually. It's kind of sticky, but... Um, it looks like a pretty okay, color. Okay, so then I have the bag and the two cards, and the bag is this really pretty, like, gold clutch, basically. That is really cool, and then it's got the pink on the top. And then, um, I have the two cards. One is M by Michelle Fawn, and has the coupon 30% off, so that's cool. And then, um, just the other, um, Glam It Up is the bag. This what this one this bag is called. So those are the two cards, and this is the bag. I like the little um, handle for your wrist there. Okay, so the first thing is this M by Michelle Fawn, and I, we, I saw that we were getting a product, and I was super excited. So I got a um, clean volume mascara. This is in black. So let's see. It looks like a pretty big size sample. It could be even full size. Yep, this looks like it's. This, I'm pretty sure this is full size, um, and I'm really excited to try this out. I've wanted to try some of her products. Let me see the wand. Ooh, it looks like a really nice wand as well. It looks like it can really separate the eyelashes and make them really um, voluminous and doesn't look like it'll clump up too much, so I'm really excited to try that and out. And the next product is um, from Starlux. I've gotten a couple things from this. This is an amethyst. It's a gem pencil, so it looks like it's a... Um, it's a purple, shimmery, like, I guess, eye pencil, and I actually broke the tip off, taking the cap off, because the plastic was not cooperating and wasn't coming off easily, um, so I'm going to have to sharpen it, and I kind of smushed it back on, but if I, like, try and draw, it's going to probably break off, but it looks like it's super creamy, and it's a gorgeous color. This would look really, really pretty under the eyes or on the top, so I'm impressed with that product. I like it. I just wish the tip didn't break off, but there's that. And then the next is um, this Be A Bombshell, um, what is this? This Be A Bombshell Lip Crayon in Shameless. So I want to see this. I love lip products. They're like, it's one of my collections and addictions is lip products. <laughs> so, ooh, wow. This color is beautiful. Exactly the kind of colors I'm into right now. Let me swatch this. <gasps> okay, I love this lip color so much. It is so pretty. That's like the lip color I've been wearing recently and that is really pretty. So I really like this product already and I haven't tried it but it seems like it's really nice quality and I really like that and I'm excited to use that. So there's that. So Ipsy, you are doing very well this month. The next thing is from BH Cosmetics and this is a baked eyeshadow in Galaxy Chic. So, if I can open this, and this is in Sun, that's okay, the Okay, so I got the packaging off. Oh, this is pretty. 
Um, it has a coupon code on the top as well, and I'm going to take the plastic cover off. And it's really pretty. It's in this. I think this is probably full size. I'm going to swatch it. It's super pigmented, and it's like a rose gold eyeshadow because it's gold, but then it has pink in it. So, or purpley pink, and so it kind of creates a nice um, rose gold color. Ooh, it's really pretty. It's actually a little more gold when you apply it onto the hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's super, super pretty though. I'm really excited to use that as well. Okay, so there are two more products in here. Okay, the next one is um, from Pixi, which um, I got a mascara sample from them. And this is, what is this? It's a bronzer. And this is in Subtly Sun Touched. Okay, so this is, a, I'm pretty sure this again is full okay, size. So it's just a matte bronzer. That's really nice. It's just going to give, like the color it says, a subtle sun touch. Um, just to add a little bit of warmth to your face, but not to make it over um, bronzed and not really to contour, just to add a little color back to your face like you've gotten a little bit of okay, sun. Okay, so then the last product in here is... Um, Nail Teeny and Nail Polish. Ooh, I want to see what color this is. Ooh, that's so pretty. This is like a rose gold as well. Um, like this actually seems like a rose gold compared to the eyeshadow. It was more gold eyeshadow. And this is full size, really pretty. And I've wanted to try from a nail polish from Nail Teeny. If I can open this, it's really pretty. It seems like it's going to be kind of sheer, so you might need a couple coats to get this nice and opaque. But the color is really pretty. Um, it's quite similar to the one in Color Club. Um, but the, this one's got a more pink tone to it. This is a more, um, it's got a lighter tone to it. It's more goldy or bronze, bronzy. So two nail polishes. You can see the size difference just right there. This is from Ipsy and this is Birchbox. Full size, just a sample size. So that is the last product in Ipsy. Okay, so I got six products in my Ipsy and then seven with my extra item, the NYX um, eyeshadow kit. So I don't even think um, I need to compare which bag I like more. Ipsy f wins this one by far by a landslide basically because I love all of the products in here and all of them I will definitely use and try out. Um, Ipsy did really well this month. They're all full size. Um, I'm not, yeah, they're all full size. I'm not sure about this, this mix. I think it's just a little sample one. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about everything I got in Ipsy and I absolutely love this lip color and everything else I got. So Ipsy definitely wins. Birchbox is just okay this month. Um, Birchbox has been doing well though. Um, I think last month it was pretty even with Ipsy and Birchbox, but I'm really excited about my Ipsy this month and all the products I got. Okay, so let me know if you guys think that Birchbox won this one or Ipsy. I definitely think Ipsy did, but maybe you like the products in Birchbox more than the products in Ipsy, so let me know which one you think did better. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!